they were transatlantic pop sensations whose careers tanked like the Titanic. They were puberty's child, a teenage Hall & Oates whose fall from grace was legendary. And this is their story. I remember when I first saw them, I discovered them, you know. They were performing in a homemade video on YouTube. Ooh. Ooh, girl, I need to tell you, but I can't say it to your ears. I gotta say goodbye, boo, so I'm texting through my tears. Texting through my tears. Texting through my tears. I emailed their manager, who just happened to be Dakota's mother, and I signed them on the spot. I was like, cha-ching! Where do I sign? I should have known something was up when she told me that she was Dakota's biological mother. But that would explain his voice. Well, you'll hear it on this hand sanitizer jingle that he sang. You make me wanna sterilize your love. Hey, the money was rolling in. The girls loved him, and everybody was happy. So, Liam, can you tell us how it feels to celebrate your 18th birthday in the States? Oh, it feels bloody great, mate, you know. I've been, like, you know, tweeting and, like, skateboarding, you know the deal. And Dakota. Dude. Why don't you sing for us here today? Um, can I get an alkaline water? You know, you guys are just so young. What year were you born? Uh, 9-11. Like, uh, the year of the chicken. Oh. They just want a fluff piece because they got the exclusive on our new music video, honey. Trust. I don't do Facebook. It's really not for me. I don't do Twitter because I cannot read. You knew I was dyslexic. You knew it from the start. So come on, baby, come on. Not only was that social networking song socially conscious, it was also socializing my bank account. And you start saying, oh, me so highness. Puberty's Child hopped on the EDM bandwagon with their dance floor sensation, Booty Bump. Everything was going great until they were invited to perform before a live audience at the BPM Awards. That's when they went from live to jive. Out of nowhere, the track stopped, and they had to sing a cappella. Booty bop, booty bop, let's all do the booty bop, booty bop, booty bop, booty bop, booty bop. Uh, booty bop. Come on, everybody. Hey, everybody, get the booty bop, booty bop. They were the laughing stock of the music industry. Turns out the vocals were being done by the manager, who, unbeknownst to me, was the weather girl's Martha Walsh and Millie Vanilli's Fabrice Morvan. Honey, I've been down this road before, but I always get my coins. You got paid? And whatever happened to Puberty's Child? Dakota, who turned out to be 46-year-old Marvin Lipschitz of Secaucus, New Jersey, is now a shopping cart fetcher at a local path park. And Liam, a.k.a. 52-year-old George Pinkelstein of St. Albans, Queens, is a recurring corpse on CSI. Cut! That's a wrap! It was also a wrap for Puberty's Child. Looking back, all the signs were there. The pancake makeup, the liver spots, and the lyrics to this bonus track which should have made it all clear. Things that start to change as I uh, accumulate these years. Not only am I balding, I've got hairs in my ears. Hair, hair, hair in, in my, my ears. ears. And I can't stop shedding tears. 
Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Casey. And we're here to make kids' dreams come true. We're Dream Givers.